Hey everyone. So in my previous video, I demonstrated using the Flipper Zero to power a seven segment display. In this video, we're gonna look at the code to make zero and 3.3 volt outputs on those pins. So as you recall, when you press the okay button, it switches the digit and it lights up. In this case, it's lighting up digit one, which is this segment and this segment. So we're using GPIO to do that. And so let's jump into the code. Let's get started. We're gonna pound include our GPIO header file. So that's gonna bring in the functions we need. All this code is available over in the Flipper Zero tutorials under the GPIO underscore seven segment folder. So once we've done that, then on our application startup, we're gonna do a GPIO init simple, and that takes the pin. So this is like pin A7, pin A6, etc. And then it takes the mode that we want to initialize it. So we're putting that as push-pull. And so push-pull means that when we say, when we set the value to a false, it'll be a ground. And when we set it to a true, we'll output 3.3 volts. Instead of push-pull, you could have said open drain. And if you do open drain, then when it's a false, it'll still be ground. But when it's a true, it will be not connected. And so this can be useful when you have a bus and you're trying to ground that bus line, but otherwise, and there's a resistor on that bus, you're trying to ground that bus line and otherwise you're leaving the bus high. That's when you would use open drain instead of push pull. So in this case, we're using push pull. So when we're over here writing up our different pins with the patterns, we have the pin we're writing to, and then we have either true or a false. So if it's false, we're gonna end up writing a ground to the pin. And if it's true, we're gonna end up writing 3.3 volts to the pin. When our application is done, we call this disconnect pin. This will switch our pin to open drain. And pull no means there's no pull up resistor to 3.3 volts and there's no pull down resistor to ground. And then it writes a true. So at that point, instead of it being ground, it's now an open circuit. So that pin is no longer connected. Um, and so when the application exits, the pin's disconnected and everything's good. I've seen some people do input. They set it to input instead of output open drain. Uh, I'm not sure if that's equivalent. If you're not reading, I don't know if, if it's connected or not at that point. So hopefully this video has taught you how to use GPIO output push pull to write ground and 3.3 volts to pins. In my next video, we'll look at how we actually control what the data is for the seven segment display. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.